Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. And I am back today with another Pandora haul. But this one is a little different because it is not from a shop. It is not from a store. It is from a lady on Facebook. So today we're going to be going over the haul and chatting a bit about buying Pandora charms on Facebook Marketplace or on a Facebook group. Um, eBay, Etsy, Mercari, there are a lot of places that you can find Pandora charms. Of course, they are not all equal. A lot of them are not real charms, and maybe that's okay with you if you are looking for Pandora-like charms that are not the Pandora prices. Um, you are more than welcome to go for those really great deals. Just know that the really great deals are really great for a reason. They are probably not going to be the same quality or last as long. And I would not put them on a real Pandora bracelet because that will, of course, void your warranty with Pandora. However, there are places that do sell real Pandora charms on Facebook, um, on Etsy. I tend to stick clear of eBay, although I, I imagine there are some on there. Mainly when you are buying from a non-accredited source, so not a shop, or a store like Rula Law that sells actual accredited Pandora. We know they do. Pandora says they do. Um, you have a few things to take into account. And the first one is, of course, if they have worked with other people before that can verify they sell real Pandora. The only way you can verify if it is real, if you are not great at spotting the fakes yourself, of course, all Pandora have hallmarks that you can compare a real to a fake. A lot of times the details aren't as sharp. You are not good at identifying those differences yourself. You can take them to an actual Pandora store and they can verify for you if they are real or fake. Some stores are better at it than others. I say that because I've had some stores, they will tell you if they cannot do it, but I would say 90% of stores can. The stores that can't tend to be the stores that are like a counter in a larger boutique. They're not an actual Pandora shop. They're just a Pandora counter. Oftentimes the places at those kind of stores or shops uh, don't have Pandora employees. The boutique employees are running the Pandora counter. They are not going to be able to help you to authenticate a piece the way a true Pandora shop will. And that's okay. Everybody has their place. Um, but if you are looking for someone with reviews, you want to be able to talk to, especially on Facebook, other people who have bought from that seller, there's oftentimes, um, you know, scammers or bad buyers lists that you want to check and see if this person has good reviews or bad reviews. If you do purchase, make sure you are buying through something like PayPal where you can pay with goods and services versus friends and family. That way, if you purchase a charm and it is not real, you take it to Pandora, they say, no, this is a fake charm. You can look at it side by side with the real charm and it is visibly not a real charm. You can go through PayPal to open a claim and get your money back. All that said, I am part of several groups on Facebook. I will try to link them down below where you can buy Pandora charms. They are not all equal. Some you have to do a lot more vetting of the buyers than others. Um, but I am in one particular group that does mainly exclusives, travel exclusives, Disney exclusives. Uh, I am there for the travel exclusives. Y'all know I love my exclusive uh, travel bracelet. And I have been after the camel for quite some time since I went to Turkey and it was unavailable. Of course, I'd love to go to Egypt one day where it is typically the most available, which makes sense. It is a camel. Um, but one of the sellers in that group is somebody that I trust and she had not one camel, but two. My mom also wanted one, so we snagged those. And then she sent some photos of other travel exclusives that she had. Um, I got one more, mom got quite a few more than I did. She had a bigger budget last month. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to share those with you here and we will take a look at them. All right, let's get into this box. So she did have it taped shut. I've already opened it. She included a polishing cloth, which I always appreciate, and the charms. So I've got a uh, charm bar here. I'm gonna go ahead and add them all to the charm bar so you can see, but here are 
the two camels, the main thing I was after in this haul. And then we have the red balloon. A lot of these are Singapore or Asian uh, charms since we are going to Singapore later this year. We have the red scooter, which I got the pink scooter the last time we were in Italy, so mom wanted the red one. A sombrero from Mexico. A lot of our trips to Mexico, we were not travel traveling. We were not collecting travel exclusives. Um, so mom was excited to get this one with the red and green and white brim. She does a lot more colors than I do. And then we have the pink uh, Korean doll, I believe, and the red Japanese doll. I will put it on the screen if those are the wrong names. There are a lot of dolls. All right, two seconds. Dun, 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 dun. So the camels are obviously a little top heavy, but that's okay because they are so cute. Uh, the little Korean doll, the pink one, and this camel are mine and the other five charms are mom's. So the Korean doll here has the pretty butterfly bow and her buns, her little, uh, I'm going to assume this is a kimono. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Like I said, I have not been to visit yet, so I really don't know. Um, I do love the pink, which is the main reason I picked this one up. It has a clean bottom. Here are the hallmarks. I could not find them at first. S925, A, L, E on the bottom of the bale there. I have purchased charms from Karina for years, um, so I don't really feel the need to bring these in to have them authenticated, but of course I could. Uh, the camels, look at this camel. Look how much detail is on this, this baby. That is why I wanted him. Even if I never got to Egypt, even if I'd never been to Turkey or anywhere else, that the camel is technically an exclusive for S925 ALE. He's just so pretty, I wanted him. I just, sometimes you just want him, you know? It does say Pandora on the back of his saddle blanket here. He's got the little tassel. He's got the beaded bridle. He's just stunning. I will have to see I may have to put some clear spacers around him or some other charms to help him stay upright because he is upside down very quickly. Uh, but that's okay. He's worth it. And this is one that when she said she had two, I almost didn't even ask if mom wanted him. I almost just bought him because I knew she would want him. But, you know... No, I always do try to ask. Just in case she changes her mind. So after that, we have the little Japanese girl, which in my perfect world, I'd have all the dolls, but you know, money. She has her little fan. She has her little red kimono. I'm going to assume, yep, S925, A-L-E. She has a very similar uh, bail, the red band around it, as opposed to the pink band, but you can tell that these two dolls definitely are from the same collection, just different, you know, different countries, different representation here. But I do like that they match. There's a blue one as well, um, maybe from China, I believe. And a newer one that's more pink and sea foam that I'm hoping to get when we go to Singapore. But I'm not 100% sure where that one is from and if she'll be available in Singapore. A lot of the Asian exclusives are available in all of the Asian countries as opposed to, you know, Italy only being available in Italy or France only being available in France. Um, and even within those... Jeez. <laughs> oh, that was rough. Even within those countries... 
there is a bit of spillover sometimes since they are closer. Like mom and I did purchase her Eiffel Tower in Italy um, because she wasn't collecting when we went to Paris. All right, so now the sombrero, which if you're going to get a sombrero, this is a very pretty one. And I almost got this silver one. I do love the hearts on the underside, on the brim. Um, but again, money. It says Pandora on one side. And I'm going to guess S925 ALE on the other side. And we have the red balloon, which I believe these symbolize luck. Let me know. If you've been to these countries, we're buying them a little prematurely just because she had them and they were great prices. Um, let me know because it would be interesting. I like that the tassels are here, but they're not like, like they're all one piece. They're not separate. Now, this is not one that I see any hallmarks on. If they are here, they may be hidden inside. Sometimes they do that. Double tassels there, um, but it's a very fine charm. Very fine detailing. There's not area on the right or left around that enamel to put hallmarks. Last but not least is the little red scooter. He is very sweet. Wheels, the underside. We've got all that glorious red enamel. Clean on the back. And then over the handlebars with the little CZ headlight, it says Pandora S925ALE. All in all, I am very happy with these. Of course, I have bought charms off of Facebook Marketplace or groups or on eBay or Etsy before that have not been real. Um, so, you know, you do have to be cautious. You do need to do some research. If you are unclear, take them in to be authenticated. Um, but it is definitely worth the risk, especially if you're looking for a specific piece like these camels and you cannot just run to Pandora to pick it up. Um, or like in our case, uh, Egypt may not be available to visit for a very long time. So all in all, I am thrilled with this purchase. If you have purchased exclusives or just other charms online before um, from one of these places, you know, leave some tips down below for people who are still cautious um, and let me know what you bought because I always want to see the hauls. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be safe. Happy hunting. Bye.